Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Snow Globe Digitals. After downloading from the website, you'll notice these are in a compressed or zipped file. The folder might look like this if you're on Mac, you see I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac, it might look a little bit different, but either way, this is a ZIP, a zip file. Zip files mean they're zipped up, they're compressed for easier files to download because these are really big files, so it means you can actually download them. Um, so what you need to do, you need to unzip these before using, otherwise Photoshop won't recognise them. On a Mac, you can use your archive utility. On Windows, right click and choose Extract All. And what this is going to do, it's going to extract them to a brand new folder, um, an unzipped open folder, so you can use the Photoshop files inside. You do need Photoshop to use these. See, this is a very, very big file. It has six um, files inside it, full size, full resolution Photoshop files. So just give it a minute to extract. You don't have to do this every time. You just need to do this one time after downloading. And then once this unzipped, I recommend you save these somewhere, easy access on your computer, so you can use these for all of your Christmas galleries, all of your clients at Christmas time, every Christmas to come. Once they've unzipped, you can go ahead and see what's inside. We have two Santas. We have Santa, this guy's in focus. This guy has a soft focus to him. You have three snow globes, and then you have the bonus glass of bauble. So six files all together. And you can go ahead and open these up into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud, but the same principles apply whichever version of Photoshop you're using. You're going to want to be able to see your layers panel. If you can't, come up to Window, up here, and choose Layers. Now these are ridiculously easy to use. You barely have to do anything. So here's Santa. Here's a little Santa happy face holding the snow globe where we're going to insert our clients. Here's Santa. You can see this Santa is blurred and really shallow depth of field here. Have this lovely dark snow globe here. We have this snow globe. Lovely dark snow globe with the red berries and the bonus glass bauble. They all work in exactly the same way. And I'm just going to show you exactly how easy it is to add your images. When you open these, they will automatically be on the place your image here, the, the orange layer. If you've used them a bit and they're not, you just need to click on this layer here in your layers panel. Next up, you can come up to file and choose place embedded to locate the image you want to add, or you can simply drag and drop, opening up these beautiful images here sent in by other photographers. So let's find an image to drag and drop into this. This beautiful one here by Cat at Dinky. So you literally just drag and drop it in. And you'll see, because it, it might come in that it actually lands in the orange layer, it might come above it. Either way, you'll get a box come up around that you can resize. If not, you can hit Control or Command T on your keyboard. You just want to resize this in. For the snow globes, even more of a bonus um, if they're sitting on white. For Santa, they can be sitting on anything. If you get full body in there, it's great. If not, don't worry. These are really great for your clients. You can add the, this literally, it's done, literally, on or off, it's done. You have um, other layers up here, like the reflection, the snow and the globe for this one and some shadow. You can turn these off if you want to by clicking the little eye icon. You see there? If, for example, the reflection here is going over your client's face, you can simply grab a black brush. Make sure you click on the mask layer, the um, this white box here, and you can just kind of fade that off or paint it on. Same with the snow, you can turn that on or off if you want the snow globe on or, oops, See, make sure you're on the layer mask. Need to take my own advice there. And you can just dab this off if you want to. Or you can leave it exactly as it is. And that's done, you just click save. If you want to save a website, come up to file, um, choose boop, 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 export, and then save for web. If you want to save full size, just go ahead um, and go file, save as, and choose JPEG. If at any point you accidentally save over the Photoshop file, you can just delete the image you've added in and add another one in. So let's go and add one into Santa with the shallow focus. You can go file, place embedded to choose your image, or you can drag and drop. Let's add this really sweet image here by Anna Brandt. And you can see that's just, that's come into the globe there. 
we could have her zoomed in I mean that looks really cute actually or you can have the full scene I think zoomed in actually was working really really cute look at that beautiful of your clients as well um, you know you can send these to your clients for their children to show them that Santa is looking in his magic orb um, you know looking on his nice list and again with all of these you can turn off the snow globe the snow coming over you can turn off the reflections or you can just paint and mask a little bit with a black brush if you want to same with the highlights as well we can just paint them off only if you want to the more you leave on there the more it's going to give that 3d uh, look and then just go ahead and save let's add an image to the snow globe i'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop what should we add into this one this image here has been edited using the lsp liquid gold um, photoshop actions just going to drag that in and drop and look at that we're done just have a little bit of that snow off the face keep the reflections on and, and that's it literally no masking no nothing it's all been done for you let's drag and drop another image in here how about we go for this one here with the snow globes if your image has white along the bottom if it's a white bottomed image even better Let's just go ahead and drop that one in. Beautiful. And you can play with the extra layers that are included, turning them on or off. Wouldn't recommend turning the snow globe off because then you just get this. And that's it. Before and after, just drag and drop, drag and drop. And again, let's just drag and drop an image in. But we go for this lovely one here, Libby Edwards Photography. Let's just drop her in there. Done. Bush. Literally done. And the bonus glass bauble. Let's go for one more and drop it in here. These are just so quick to do. You can literally, literally, it's just dragging and dropping. Let's pop an image in here. Which one shall we go for? This little cutie. This photo here is by Carla Teer, Carla Teer photographer. So I'm just going to resize him. This one also works really nicely for families. We have reflections and sparkle inside the group, so we can just mask that and bring it off if you wanted to. You can just click about and play a little bit, but the actual writing of the subject, you have to do nothing. You just drag, drop and resize. So that's the LSP Snow Globe Overlays and Digital Backgrounds. You can get these over on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com. They're just so simple to use and kind of addictive. Really, really good fun. So I hope you love using these this Christmas. Your clients are going to love these. They are 6,000 by 4,000 um, picks. They are 300 DPI, so they will print big. And you can get these over on the LSP Actions website over at lsp-actions.com. Merry Christmas.